Strengthening Faith 75 I read a news article a while ago, which I wanted to briefly discuss. It reported on the widespread difficulties Muslims all over the world are facing. Even though tests and trials have affected believers since the dawn of time, particularly in the time of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, yet it seems like the modern-day tests only lead to more difficulties and humiliation for Muslims. Whereas the tests which the righteous predecessors faced only led to their honor in both worlds. The main reason for this difference in the outcome of tests is that when the righteous predecessors face tests, in fact greater tests than the modern-day Muslims, which is confirmed in a narration found in Sunan ibn Majah, number 4023, they face their tests and difficulties while sincerely obeying Allah, the Exalted, in the form of fulfilling the commands of Allah, the Exalted, refraining from his prohibitions and being patient with destiny, according to the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. This resulted in them safely passing the test and receiving great honor and blessings from Allah, the Exalted, in both worlds. Chapter 16 and Nal, verse 97. Whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life, and we will surely give them their reward in the hereafter according to the best of what they used to do. And chapter 24 and Nur, verse 55. Allah has promised those who have believed among you, and done righteous deeds that he will surely grant them succession to authority upon the earth just as he granted it to those before them, and that he will surely establish for them, therein their religion which he has preferred for them, and that he will surely substitute for them after their fear security, for they worship me, not associating anything with me. But whoever disbelieves after that, then those are the defiantly disobedient. Whereas, many Muslims in this day and age face tests, but do not remain steadfast on the obedience of Allah, the Exalted. They fail to understand that success and honor through tests is only granted to those who remain steadfast on the obedience of Allah, the Exalted, whereas, being disobedient only leads to disgrace. Therefore, Muslims should not worship Allah, the Exalted, on an edge, whereby they are only obedient to Him in times of ease, and turn away from Him angrily and disobediently in times of difficulty. This is not real servanthood or obedience to Allah, the Exalted. Chapter 22 Al-Hajj, verse 11 And of the people is he who worships Allah on an edge. If he is touched by good he is reassured by it, but if he is struck by trial he turns on his face. He has lost this world and the hereafter. That is what is the manifest loss. Simply put, no action will aid Muslims in the long run if it is not based on the obedience of Allah, the Exalted. Disobedience will only lead from one difficulty to another, one disgrace to another. Chapter 4 and Nisa, verse 147. What would Allah do with, i.e., gain from your punishment if you are grateful and believe? Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.